today I've got an easy project for you. Scrunchies are back in and they're so easy to make so we'll just get started here. You're going to start with a piece of fabric that is about four and a half inches this way and the length should be at least 22 inches. If you have a piece that's longer than that you can do 24. That's fine. It will just make it a little more um, have a little more volume to it. Um, this piece is a piece of elastic. I used a quarter inch piece of elastic and it is approximately eight inches long. And then you'll need some little safety pins. Um, also a sewing machine with um, threaded to match your fabric um, and some scissors. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little edge right here and we're gonna fold it just over just a little bit like this. And then um, we'll, we'll sew it right here. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna take this. This is going to be on the outside, the rough edge for now. We're gonna fold it in half lengthwise and we're going to sew along here. All right, so we've sewed this long end right here, and it's time to flip it right side out. It takes a little bit of patience and persistence to get it to come right side out. Okay, now it's time to get our elastic inside. So we'll grab our elastic. I like to stick a large um, safety pin on the end this will help us hold onto it and um, weave it through the middle. I also like to stick one on the other end and attach it to the fabric. That way, once you get this end through, you're not pulling it the other end through by mistake and then having to start over. So you can just see I'm just threading it through, holding on to that safety pin and it makes it really quick and easy to get it through. Now the tricky part is to get these sewed together without losing them inside. So next up we'll be taking these two ends, overlapping them and we're going to do a little zigzag stitch over It's a little bit tricky to get it in position because it's so small, but I'll do, switch it to a zigzag stitch and, and I like to go forward and backward several times to make sure it's secure. Okay, so we have this sewn together. We're going to insert this raw edge right here inside of the other loop that we finished at the very beginning. We'll get it all straightened out and then we'll sew a straight stitch just along the top. Um, one thing that, you like to, that I like to check and make sure is that it's not twisted up because we made one and 
this was all straightened out and then somehow it got all twisted like this and then we sewed it and then it was stuck like that and it's kind of it just bothers me because it's not um, how it should be but so we'll just right here how this is this um, seam is on the outside currently or all the way around so we'll just do a little straight stitch along here and then we're done Okay, so we've sewn along here and we're all done. It's just easy to just pull it out, stretch it around, wrap it around a ponytail. Super fun.